These six credit cards pay me thousands of dollars in rewards each month. And in this video, I'm going to reveal what they are. Since graduating college eight years ago, I have been obsessed with getting good credit cards. I fly for free, stay in free hotels, have gotten tens of thousands of dollars in cash back, and yeah, you can too. We have some really exciting cards on this list, so make sure to watch all the way through to get all their features and to see if it's a good match for you. Let's get started. So number six on the list is the Discover It Cashback card, and this is a really great card for those of you who want the maximum cash back possible on certain categories. The card has no annual fee and you get a 0% intro APR for the first 15 months on purchases and balance transfers. The rewards on this card are amazing because you get 5% cash back on categories like restaurants, grocery stores, Amazon, and gas stations, and 1% cash back on all other purchases. So it's sort of like the Chase Freedom with its rotating categories, meaning if you're down to track categories, you can definitely maximize your cash back. For example, between July and September, you'd want to use this card for all restaurant and PayPal purchases. And starting October, it'd be perfect to use for all your Amazon and Apple Pay purchases for that sweet, sweet 5% cash back. I will say that this is capped at $1,500 per category, so $75 cash back per quarter. So it might not be worth it if you're spending significantly more than that. Another pretty cool feature is that Discover actually allows you to monitor your FICO score for free on their platform. So you can keep track of how your score is improving over time. Since there is no sign up bonus, they are running a promotion where they will match your cash back in the first year with no cap, which basically means you're getting double the rewards on everything if you take advantage of it the first year. So this would mean like 2% cash back on all purchases and 10% cash back on the rotating categories. For example, if you get $500 in rewards in your first year, Discover is going to actually give you another $500 in cash back at the end of that year. It's a super great everyday cash back card with no annual feed that I recommend for lots of people to check out. Okay, so for our fifth and fourth cards, I'm actually going to be talking about two different store cards that I really love. And yeah, I'm going to clump them together. Now, I normally hate those dingy store credit cards that they always ask you to sign up for, but these two are definitely an exception. The Amazon Prime Rewards card and the b and Payboo credit card are amazing cards that can save you a lot of money depending on what you buy. Now, although these cards aren't for beginners, they're definitely a no-brainer if you spend a ton on Amazon or if you shop for electronics on b &H often. If you guys get the Amazon Prime Rewards Visa signature, which requires you to have a valid Prime membership, you'll actually get a $100 Amazon gift card instantly when you sign up along with unlimited 5% cash back on all Amazon and Whole Foods purchases. In addition to that, you'll get 2% cash back at restaurants, gas stations, and drugstores, and then 1% cash back on everything else. So as you can tell from everything I just said, there's a ton of stuff that this card can give you with no annual fee, which is why I think if you have an Amazon Prime membership and spend thousands of dollars per year on the platform, this could be a great, great card. I'm thinking at least 25% of you guys watching this video are going to be Prime candidates for this card because, you know, everyone spends so much money at Amazon these days. Now, switching from the Amazon card to the B&H card, we have the B&H Payboo card, which also has no annual fee and is super unique because it automatically refunds you the sales tax when you make a purchase at B&H, which can save you a ton of money. If you don't know what B&H is, it's one of the largest electronic retailers where I actually get a majority of my camera, tech, and computer equipment. I've even been to their flagship store in New York, which was amazing. Now, I'd say that the drawback with this card is that, of course, you can only use it for b &H web and store purchases, and the things that are available on their site are definitely more niche down, definitely not as wide as Amazon. But you guys, if you're buying tech equipment and spending a lot, it's a huge savings. For example, in Orange County, where I live, the sales tax is 7.75%, meaning that each time I buy stuff, I'm getting a huge 7.75% discount. This is even higher in LA County where it's over 9%. But yeah, it's going to depend on where you live. If you're in a state without sales tax, then there's probably no need to get this card. But for you tech heads spending thousands a year, this card is well worth the hard inquiry. So next up for number three, we have a card that is super simple because you get an unlimited 1.5% cash back on all purchases with no annual fee. And it has a $200 bonus after you spend $500 in the first three months. And this, you guys, is the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. Besides the 1.5% on everything, they also offer 5% cash back on groceries and 3% cash back at restaurants and drugstores, making this card a great choice for people who want a high cash back card. Now, the only downside with this card is the fact that you do have to pay a 3% foreign transaction fee, so it's not the best international travel card. But other than that, it's a fantastic cash back card if you want to start building credit 
with Chase. I'm a huge fan of the Chase Points ecosystem, Ultimate Rewards, and if you have other Chase cards like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, then you can actually combine all these rewards together, which is very, very convenient. I think that this card used to be my most used card because of that sweet 1.5% minimum cash back, which just makes life really, really easy. When you combine this with certain Chase offers like the Pay Yourself Back promo, this can greatly increase the value of your rewards. And yeah, like I said earlier with Chase Ultimate Rewards, this whole ecosystem of points is so versatile and can be transferred to so many different airline partners as well as used for travel on their own uh, website. Combine it with the Chase Reserve, which we're actually gonna be talking about later in this video, and each point gets a 50% boost in value when redeemed for travel on Chase's website. So yeah, any $500 flight, for example, would cost you about 33.3 thousand points only. Overall, a fantastic card and part of my Chase trifecta. So number two on our list is, in my opinion, the best card if all you want is easy, high cash back without having to think about a single thing. And that is the City Double Cash card. This card has an unlimited 2% cash back on everything like the name Double Cash implies. And there's no annual fee and you earn 1% back when you make a purchase and then another 1% when you pay the minimum amount. So one plus one equals two. Like I said earlier, it's an easy card. And unlike the Discover It Cashback card, there are no rotating categories to keep track of. So if you wanna earn unlimited 2% cash back while spending and not have to think about it, I would say that this is probably the card that you're looking for. When you do look at some of the other credit cards on this list, it's true that yes, you can get more rewards on certain categories and sign-up bonuses, but of course they come at a cost. I will say City Thank You Rewards are not as flexible to use when compared to Chase Ultimate Rewards or even Amex points, but they are still pretty great and more importantly, they are very simple. With the City Double Cash card, you earn basic rewards points, meaning you cannot transfer to most airline partners, except JetBlue. However, you guys, to unlock the full list of travel partners, you'd actually need a premium city card like the Premier or Prestige, and then you can combine your points and transfer to a ton of airline partners, including Cathay Pacific, Qantas and Emirates. But yeah, those are more premium cards with annual fees, so it's gonna be up to you if you think that's worth it. Overall, this is a great card that is very, very popular with beginners, and like I said earlier, has no annual fee, which is a huge plus. The only really big knock in my opinion is that there's no sign-up bonus, which is where most people earn a majority of their points. So definitely keep that in mind when deciding on this card. And last up, number one on the list, we have my personal favorite high roller card, the Chase Sapphire. Sapphire Reserve. First of all, you guys, this card is not for everyone because it does cost $550 per year, but the annual fee is well worth it if you take advantage of the rewards. Yeah, every year when I see that $550 statement balance, it does make my heart hurt a little bit until I realize what I'm getting in return. To start off, you get 50,000 bonus points when you spend $4,000 in purchases in the first three months. The card also gives you a $300 annual travel credit that can be used for anything travel related, such as hotels, Uber rides, Airbnb, and more. So yeah, I would consider that a literal $300 easy rebate, making the card effectively $250 per year. There are many other features like a TSA pre-check credit every four years, priority pass select membership, which is pretty amazing for the frequent traveler, and a bunch of other travel protection. You guys, the lounge access itself is a necessity if you like to travel in comfort. And once you try TSA pre-check, you can never go back to the general TSA lines. Now, going back to the Chase Ultimate Rewards points, the reason why I encourage Chase card holders to get this card is because it instantly makes all your points worth 50% more. You can transfer any points you have on, let's say your Freedom Unlimited card over to your reserve account and you instantly get a 50% boost in value when you book travel through their travel portal. This has saved me thousands of dollars in flights and is a no brainer for anyone who likes to spend their points on those flights. So yeah, pair this card with your other Chase cards and for certain travel bookings, it will be well worth it. In my opinion, there are so many rewards opportunities for this card and it can make the $550 annual fee totally worth it for the right person. It's also a very nice heavy metal card that definitely feels good in your hands but the rewards are probably gonna be a bit more important to you. Anyways, those are my top credit cards in 2022 that give me thousands of dollars in rewards each month. You can get really technical with your card choices and build up quite a stash, and if done right and safely, you should be able to travel for free for the rest of your life. And yeah, it's really a cool hack and why I think everyone who's responsible with their money should utilize credit cards. It's literally like free money. Anyways, if you guys want some free stuff, I will put links in the description, as well 
well as links directly to these credit cards if you do want to help support the channel. My goal is to help everyone be able to achieve financial success at a young age. And yeah, if you guys got some value out of the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. Thanks so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.